my name is Martha Zink and I'm with Salient Consulting and in this video I'm going to talk about the card window for navigation. So let me jump right in and click on this button up here in the right hand corner and you'll see that it gives me a card window with a bunch of buttons on it. Now navigation has been a pretty big pain point for me in the past. As my client solution grows the more navigation options I need for them and I could usually accomplish something like this with another window but it just never felt quite right or quite polished enough. Well, with this version of FileMaker, I have something very powerful, which is really a window within a window, which means that I get to have a second layout that I can go to, but it's still very focused and it keeps the user's eye in the right place. So as the user clicks on these different buttons, they go to different parts of the database. If I click on contacts, it takes me to a contact details screen. And as I click on companies, it takes me back to the company details. What's cool is that you can even leverage the card window a little bit more and use the card window to show more stuff. So when I click on About Us, it actually shows me some information about Salian Consulting. And when I hit Close, it throws me right back to Navigation. So I didn't actually leave the card window there. I just continued showing the card window and changed the layout within it. So let's take a look at the pieces here. I'm going to open up the script first. So this is the script, the show navigation script is the one that is attached to the button on the layout. One script step, how awesome is that? So if I click on this, you'll see that the window style is a card style and it goes to a layout called navigation. And from there, I didn't actually have to set anything else. The size is dynamic based on the size of the navigation layout and the position is centered. So I didn't have to change anything there. And I left the close button on and I have the dim parent window so that the user's attention is drawn to the right place. As for the buttons on the layout, they all are run by one script. So you'll see here, I just have a huge if statement. At least it could get huge depending on how many buttons I have. And each part of the if or else if tells each button what to do. So in most cases, it's going to close the window because I need it to close the card window. And then it'll go to a specific layout. The exception to that is something like the About Us, where it doesn't actually close the window, it stays within the card window and goes to a different layout. So once you open up the card window, by default you're going to make it go to some layout. You can actually still use that card window to go somewhere else. Let's take a quick look at the navigation layout that I have. I'm going to jump over to navigation, and you'll see that it's a very simple layout. It's got eight buttons on it. And as my client's functionality increases and they need to add more things to their navigation layout, I can just add more buttons. So this FAQ button, for example, I could just drag it into place here. I could add some functionality to that button. And then whenever I'm on a layout, I can now click on this button up here and there's that new FAQ button. So this is gonna grow with your solution really well. It's clean, it's easy to set up, and I really think it's a game changer when it comes to showing off what FileMaker can do and how easy it can be for a new developer to build something that's very useful for the users. Keep watching Salient TV to see more videos about card windows and other features of FileMaker 16, and thank you for watching.